I want to prophesy over your week. I was texting a friend yesterday when I said, the church is in a rebirth moment. Then last night I dreamt I was Lazarus in a tomb hearing the voice of the Lord say, Lazarus come forth. I began to slowly unravel the bandages that were all around me. They were heavy and stuck tight but the more he called the easier they began to come off. His voice was compassionate and tender, yet it also felt like the summoning of our warrior king, our general calling us out of sleep. Jesus said in John 11 verse 11, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. But what I felt in the dream was not just awakening but rebirth. The church is in a place of rebirth. You and I are in rebirth. Right now, that looks like the dark and messy tomb where the Lord is tenderly unraveling us of the old wineskin and the trail of pain and trauma behind us. Rebirth is needed so we leave with a clean slate and a fresh heart on fire for God. For many have died before their time and have forfeited their callings. Many have fallen in the battle, surrounded by failure and ruin, without any hope of redemption or another hope-filled chapter. But rebirth is happening. In fact, the dark night you are in is the sign that God is reforming you and resurrecting you. This part doesn't depend on your faith or your hope gauge being filled, but the might, power, and authority of Jesus in your life and his faithfulness to finish the story well for you. I could feel the bandages coming off like old wounds being healed and bondages being released from my life. Our last season had wrapped us up so tightly that it was hard to dream. Hard to see promise. Hard to see the new day dawning. But as the bandages came off, hope started to break into the darkness like an old reminder that God's specialty is the comeback. The prison break. The glory after the suffering. And that's where you and I are right now. It has felt like a tomb but what if God has used it to be a womb of your greatest comeback and rebirth? What if God used what looked like the death of your destiny to be your greatest turnaround? The rebirth will restore your roar. For the enemy has tried to take you out before your time and has tried to silence you before you even were able to truly be a voice, but there is a roar of redemption coming through you in this season. This reminded me of a wild dream I had late last year where I woke up in a state of warfare after a dream where I saw lions that had been physically abused and beaten until they were afraid and timid. I could feel in my spirit that I needed to pray for this assignment to break because these lions' roars needed to be heard but they were just too traumatized by the relentless psychological warfare to break out. In the dream I asked, what do I do to break it, and then I heard prophesy to them to come out. It reminded me of Ezekiel 37 where he was told to prophesy to dry bones to come to life. It also reminded me of 1 Samuel 22 where the prophet Gad called David out of the cave of Adullam. So, this week I am in intercession over you. This assignment of timidity, fear, retreat, hiding, and silence must break now in Jesus' name. You have been gaslit over and over until you have waved the white flag but today you will get your roar back in Jesus' name. Lions it's time to roar again. It's time to lift your voices again. And many are saying but I have no strength left in me to lift my voice. I am beyond beat down and I'm depleted. And I would say to you now, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the place of death. Come out of the tomb. Come out of the fatigue that is a spirit lingering over you. Shake it off. Renounce it. Remember who you are. The lion of the tribe of Judah is right now roaring over you and calling you back to life. And you will roar again. And you will prophesy again. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Amos 3 verses 7 to 8. For in the absence of your roar the enemy has tried to disrupt and disband your life into tiny pieces. That's why there has been so much mess and fractures. You need to stand back at your post. You need to roar off the invaders approaching your land. You need to stand and prophesy again so the enemy does not encroach on your inheritance and tomorrow. For he sees what is at stake. Do you?
But in the months to come you will feel resurrection life touch every part of your life, body, soul, and spirit. You will feel a fresh wind and newness come upon and take away the weary garment you have been wearing. You will feel a fresh song enter your heart and a raging fire enter your belly again. And you will come fully alive where the enemy thought he successfully sent you into an infirmary season. But I prophesy that assignment expires now in Jesus' name. Lazarus come forth. Lions come out of timidity and spiritual sleep in Jesus' name. This is your rebirth moment.